Hi there, and welcome to today's practical planning tip by Parkbridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Schenkman, and I'm the President and Chief Investment Officer of the firm. Firstly, happy Pi Day to all that celebrate. Since I'm married to an actuary, I take Pi Day very, very seriously. In fact, I have my cherry pie right here to enhance the joyousness of the day. I also have, if you see that, I also have an apple pie and a blueberry pie downstairs, and we will be feasting on pizza pie tonight for dinner. And I was thinking of actually doing a taste test on this cherry pie, but it will undoubtedly make a gigantic mess, so I will skip that today. Anyway, today we're going to discuss women and wealth. Since it is Women's History Month, the videos through the end of the month of March will be on this topic, and today I'll share some statistics to set the stage for more in-depth planning strategies for female investors. So it's important to recognize that the growth of women in the workforce has increased significantly over the past few decades. Women are more successful and financially independent than any time in history. The growth of this demographic presents an opportunity for practitioners to address a unique set of circumstances that may not be prevalent with their male clients. And here's some numbers to consider. First, the percentage of women in the workforce has increased significantly over the past few decades. Women accounted for only 32.7% of the U.S. labor force in 1948. But by 2022, the percentage grew to 56.8%. Women have especially made notable gains in professional and managerial occupations. And as an example, in 2023, 39% of all lawyers are women, compared to less than 1 in 10 in 1974. Women own close to 10 million businesses in the United States, which accounts for $1.4 trillion in receipts. And in 2019, women surpassed men as the majority of college-educated workers in the United States. Yet, as it is frequently reported, women continue to earn less than men, with women still earning only 83% of their male counterpart's salary. In my next video, we're going to highlight reoccurring themes that come up when working with female clients that will further set the stage to discuss more advanced financial planning strategies for women. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, and don't forget to plan ahead.